last thing I'd like to talk about is the environment, which basically covers lighting, temperature control, uh, things like that. As you can see, I have some four foot lights. These are standard, just LED shop lights that I bought at a home center. The nice thing about them is you can daisy chain them so they can plug into one another. Just one of them has to have a power source and then it feeds the others. So I have one side that goes up to a switch I have. I don't know if you can see that box on the ceiling. And that box is controlled by this main switch when I come in. Each lamp is about 4,000 or 4,500 lumens, which is really pretty bright. And also there's a thing called color temperature which on the range, the higher number, uh, these are about 5,000 in color temperature, and that is most like natural sunlight. And you can really tell the difference. It's a crisper white light. It really helps in being able to see when you measure and making cuts and things like that. Another little solution, I love these things. This is just a, one of those little magnetic lamps, these LED lamps that you can buy. This was, I think, 20 bucks. It's, uh, it's rechargeable and uh, they're really handy to have. It's just got a couple modes on it and then you can turn them off. I do have heat and air conditioning. This is a dedicated shop. So we made the decision to invest in a heating and cooling unit. I found this online. I believe I actually bought it through Home Depot. It's called a mini split or a ductless unit. So it blows both hot air and cold air, depending on the season. And the nice thing about this one, it was a DIY kit. So the lines were pre-charged with the Freon or the coolant. And all you had to do was hook them up, run the connection lines outside, and then hook it to the compressor, the fan unit on the outside. So I didn't have to have an HVAC person come out and connect and fill those lines for me. So it made it really pretty affordable. And combined with the insulation that we put in the space, it really keeps the building at a, a consistent temperature. So both in the, in the winter and the summer. And, and that helps not only in temperature control for materials, because as materials get hot and cold, if you bring them in a garage, you're working them uh, during cold time and you bring it inside, that really affects contraction and expansion of, of the lumber as well as finishes. So that's a little bit of a solution I have for, for ductless. I actually do use, and kind of show you real quick back here, I have a large, um, high, kind of a high velocity utility fan that if the temperature is pretty reasonable, I'll open my overheads and just run a fan to get a little extra air flowing that way. And I also have a ceiling fan, which has been pretty important in air circulation because I do have higher ceilings. It helps a lot to keep the air circulating through the space. And I rarely turn this off, even when I'm not running the unit, whether it's hot or cold, I'll always keep my ceiling fan on and, and that in itself helps a lot.